Hello there, welcome to my channel. How amazing that you're watching this video. My name is Irene and today I have my pirate ship restaurant build for you. I really hope you will enjoy it. My plan is to keep this uh, voiceover very short. My voice is actually back for just a day now. I don't know if you watched not my last video, but the one before that I recorded it on Monday and it was, or I'm sorry, on Sunday and it was a day after King's Day. We celebrate King's Day in Holland every year on the 27th of April and we celebrate the birthday of our king. And I had to work for 30 hours and my voice was not a good now it's just a little bit nasal <laughs> but it's so much better than it was two videos before but still i want to spare my voice a little bit as i was saying today i am building my pirate ship restaurant i've built a pirate ship restaurant before but i didn't make a speedbuild video out of it i uploaded it on the gallery though i think it was like two months ago or something and yeah, I like to build, but I think I progressed my building the last couple of weeks and months too. And I really wanted to do it again because I thought I could make the restaurant way better than I did the last time. And yeah, I think it worked out pretty good to be honest. Over here you can see I'm already creating the shape of the boat. I also created a pirate ship boat house it was actually the third video i put on youtube and i used a very big pirate ship prop from the get famous pack and it was very easy to use that b2 in this build but i wanted to push myself a little bit and yeah really use the roof tool to make it look like a ship that is upside down and yeah, make something a little bit original out of it so that's what i'm doing over here i'm creating the roof already i put a round roof in front of a square one and i use the shift key actually if you use the shift key you get a lot of more options when you're using the roof tool you can make it look more curvy and more intricate yeah, I think it uh, really looks like a ship upside down. I built this house on a lot on the island of Windeburg. I actually use the lots on the island in Windeburg a lot in my build. I create a lot of tropical builds and I think the whole island theme fits very good for it. So that's why I'm using it over here too. It's actually a 40 by 30 lot and you can find this build on the gallery too. On the gallery I've placed it on a totally different lot because when I uploaded it on the gallery on this lot, all the trees that's around a lot, are, are around a lot, I'm sorry, were just blocking the view. So I had to find a 40 by 30 lot that was better and that had a better view. And it was actually very hard to find a good one. This build is very high and I think that's why the trees are in the way. I'm not sure. But well, there was a, a lot in... I don't know the name from the world in Get Famous anymore. I'm not sure, but I think you know what I mean. And I used a lot where there used to be... A museum under gallery but over here I think it looks way better I'm creating the wooden pathways right now I will create a big C around it too I also have an Instagram page for the sim stream follow me if you want and I actually get the same question a lot it's about how to place your builds uh, upon the water because in a lot of the builds it looks like the build is placed up on water and over here you can see it very good how I'm doing it I'm actually creating the build first and after that I use the pool tool and create a pool all around the edges 
so I create the pool around it and not make the pool first and then create the build on top of it. I think that's the best way to do it. There are sure more ways to do it, but for me, yeah, that's just the best way for it. I think it's necessary to use the move object sheet too. I always have the move object sheet on when I am building. I think most of you are familiar with the sheet, but for the people that aren't, if you press in the Ctrl Shift C keys, a cheat box, a white cheat box appears in the left corner of your screen. And there you want to put bb.move objects. And when you do that, the move objects sheet is on and you can place items on top of each other and you can freely move them over the grid. And I think that's also necessary when you're building uh, on a pool or when you're building a pool around your build. I also use the Ignore Gameplay Unlocks Entitlement Cheat a lot. I know it's a big mouthful. I will put the cheat in the description box below. It's actually the one that ignores the gameplay. It's already saying it. So all the items that you can unlock during gameplay, for example, the ones that you unlock in the writing career, I think there are better computers and in the paint career, paint a career, you unlock, um, I think, blank canvases and everything. You can use them in your builds too, even when you haven't unlocked them yet. To do that, put in Ctrl Shift C, as I was saying, to unlock the white cheat box in the left of left corner of your screen and then put in bb dot ignore gameplay unlocks entitlements everything together but as i was saying i will put it in the description box below too i also always use the show hidden objects cheat to use that put in bb dot show hidden objects it shows a whole menu of as the cheat is saying hidden objects the hidden objects uh, are used when the makers the creators of the game are creating the world so you have wooden locks you have like small fishing ponds and everything and i always use that cheat too the build is already taking shape or the outsides of the build and I think I'm almost at the interior part already. I really wanted to create a, a restaurant too, but also make the uh, whole restaurant look like the inside of a pirate ship. So I use a lot of candles and a lot of red curtains and a lot of items from the dine out pack. And it's actually the first restaurant I'm creating for my YouTube channel. If you like it, please let me know. I can do way more. I can make other themed restaurants. Well, let me know. And if you have some questions about the cheat codes or anything else, please let me know too. And yeah, I think I let the building do the talking for now. I hope you will enjoy it. And I hope to speak to you very, very soon. Goodbye.